In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set a reminder in Outlook. This is a simple process that can greatly enhance your productivity by ensuring you don't miss important tasks or meetings. Whether you're managing work deadlines or personal appointments, mastering reminders in Outlook is a skill that can help keep you organized and on track. So let's dive in and explore this step-by-step -step guide to creating effective reminders in just a few minutes. First, you'll need to access your Outlook account. Start by opening your web browser and navigating to the Outlook sign-in page. If you haven't bookmarked it yet, now might be a good time. Once on the page, you'll see the option to sign in. Click on sign in and you'll be prompted to enter your email and password. Make sure you enter it correctly to avoid any login issues and then press enter. Once signed in, you'll be directed to the main Outlook dashboard where all the magic happens. Now that you're in your Outlook account, you'll want to go to your mail section. You'll notice a panel on the left hand side of the screen with various icons. Click on the mail icon to access your email. You might already be familiar with this layout if you frequently use Outlook for your correspondence. It's a straightforward interface designed to help you manage your emails efficiently, but today our focus is on the calendar. Next up, you'll need to switch from mail to the calendar. You can do this by clicking on the calendar icon, which is usually located right below the mail icon on the left panel. If this is your first time navigating through the calendar, take a moment to observe its layout. It provides a clear view of your month, week or day, depending on your preference and is excellent for planning your schedule. Once you're in the calendar section, look for the option to create a new event. This is typically displayed as a button labeled new event or a plus sign often located towards the top of the screen. Clicking on it will open a new window or drop down where you can enter the details of your event or reminder. Think of this as your to-do list where you can jot down tasks or important meetings that you can't afford to overlook. Now, here's where you set the reminder. After entering the necessary details for your event, you'll want to look for the reminder option. This is where you can specify when you'd like to be notified before the event starts. Most people find that setting a reminder 15 minutes prior works well, especially if it's a meeting or a task you need to prepare for. Select this option from the drop down menu and make sure it's reflected correctly in your event setup. An additional feature you might find useful is the email reminder. Outlook allows you to receive an email reminder which can be a great backup, especially if you tend to be away from your desk or turn off notifications from apps. To add an email reminder, look for the option in the event details and set it the same way you did for the first reminder. At this point, you've set up your event and reminders. The final step is to save your settings. Look for the save button, often located at the bottom of the window or screen, and click it. Saving ensures that all your inputs are recorded and you'll receive those timely reminders. It's a small click that guarantees you're all set up. And that's how you set a reminder in Outlook. This process is quick, efficient, and once you get the hang of it, can be done in less than five minutes. Remember, reminders are not just about notifying you of upcoming events, but they also play a crucial role in helping you manage your time better. With Outlook's robust reminder options, you can ensure that you're always on top of your schedule. Thank you for watching and following along. With these steps, you are now equipped to use Outlook reminders to enhance your productivity and time management. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to explore more resources or reach out for help. Until then, happy scheduling.